Itsy, you've done it again, haven't you? Itsy has updated its prohibited items policy and they didn't let anyone know. So today I'm going to show you what's changed and how if this impacts you, if this is something you're selling, what you want to do about it and also even if this change doesn't impact you, let's talk at the end what it means for us sellers if Etsy just changes these things without telling us. So for those that don't know, I'm Pam Duffy and I try and bring you the most up-to-date Etsy tips, tricks and changes. So I try and have my finger on the ball at all times, reading, checking out the podcasts, reading articles, checking whatever they're putting in the forums the best you can in the forums because they're all awful but trying to keep my finger on the pulse of all the changes and everything but I didn't see this in any of my regular places actually a dear friend of mine sent me the link to a reddit post where someone had spotted this so I'll just so I'll just show you the post here Etsy has quietly updated its prohibited items policy to clarify counterfeit items. So I went on this and I thought, no way, they wouldn't have updated this because at the end of the day, this is the legal, this is the prohibited items. But sure enough, when I went over to the prohibited items policy on Etsy, it says last updated on the 23rd of April. So it's been a sneaky change and they didn't really tell us about it. And it actually took me a little while to find this. Now, most of us don't have a photographic memory of what Etsy's policies were two weeks ago. We just have a general idea, but we kind of need to know when changes happen. So I, so I had a look and thankfully from the Reddit article, I was able to finally find this. So let's, let's have a look. <clears throat> So the prohibited items policy, now there could well be more changes in here. I've read it, nothing stands out to me just now, but I don't necessarily remember everything that was there. But if we look even here, this policy is part of our terms of use. By opening an Etsy shop, you're agreeing to the policy and our terms of use. So we're agreeing to that, but they're changing it without telling us. Okay, rant less. Okay, so I found it, it's in the illegal items section, section five here. Illegal items, items promoting illegal activity and highly regulated items. <laughs> we respect the law and expect Etsy sellers to respect the law. All this totally makes sense and most of this has been here before. It's what we signed up to. But the change is in the second paragraph. Counterfeit or unauthorized, counterfeit or unauthorized items are prohibited on Etsy. Fair enough. We consider counterfeit or unauthorised goods to be items that imitate an authentic goods, particularly by using the brand's name, logo or protected design without the brand owner's consent. Now, I have a whole video about can you sell fan art, etc. on Etsy and no, and this policy makes it clear. Additionally, this is the new bit, we may consider upcycled or repurposed items, even if using authentic materials to be counterfeit, if they're making use of a brand's name, logo or protected design without their permission. Examples of prohibited counterfeit or unauthorised goods include replica luxury and non-luxury items like bags and branded apparel. So the worry, so the worry here that they're quite rightly pulling up on Reddit is reworking or altering non-vintage branded clothing this could help this could hit everybody who is repurposing clothes upcycling clothes the people who buy wonderful the people who buy sneakers and shoes and change them paint them upcycle them make them into a statement piece and there are lots of sellers like that on Etsy because it was totally allowed. You could buy something and then change it. You could draw on a t-shirt or, or something else. Now I get they're saying, especially if they're making use of the brand's name, logo or protected designs without their permission. So if you are painting a pair of Gucci shoes or something or adding bits to a bag that doesn't count it, you know, that's that could get you into trouble. And they are very, very fuzzy with this here we may consider upcycled or repurposed they don't say if they will or they will not so firstly if this is something you make on Etsy absolutely contact Etsy and make sure it's okay I would say contact the brand 
um, but it takes so long like I've contacted a few brands just to just to see what the process is and none of them have got back to me so it's really really difficult to get noticed for these things so contact Etsy and see what they'll say my guessing is it's going to be like copyright law and everything they're not going to do anything until the copyright holder complains is my guess but I have no way of knowing that and again, my further guess is these copyright holders have been like Gucci has come on and searched for Gucci and found all the listings that show up for Gucci. And they haven't got time to look through them all and decide which are really bad and you know which are really stealing their designs and which are upcycling them. And so they just put in a claim to Etsy, take all of this stuff down. And again, Etsy doesn't want to go through it all. So they're just going, OK, if Gucci come and complain, your item's down. So if you're doing something like this, contact Etsy, but be aware. And with any copyright kind of thing, not using the brand's name or logo just makes it harder for you to find. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're in the clear. So check with Etsy. But what does this mean for the rest of us? This means that important policies are being changed without even a flicker of a word to tell us. This is only because really eagle-eyed people were able to spot this and thankfully share it. So as a community we have to get together and make sure we share all these things so we can stay up to date. It's really difficult when what you read two weeks ago is totally different from what you read now. So hopefully it helps to see what's going on here. <laughs> but but Etsy, please let us know about the changes. It would have taken two minutes more for it would have taken two minutes more for one of your social media teams just to make a post. You know, when you changed the article, just put a post to say this has been changed. Who knows? Maybe by now they have said something, but that's been changed for like a week now. So yeah, Etsy, stop doing changes without letting us know. These are important changes. Anyway, hope that helps. See you next time.